Are we level on this thing? No, we're not. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to go over this palette that I just got yesterday. And I was just like, hmm, should I buy it or should I not buy it or should I wait? And there were still a couple left, palettes left at Ulta. And I was like, well, I already know that I just bought her first one that just came out um, last year. Uh, her Carly Babel um, 10 eyeshadow color and 4 uh, color highlight um, palette. And now she just came out with a new one that has 21 um, eyeshadow uh, colors and she also came out with um, four um, I think it's four or three yeah four uh, no she came out with three three new highlights in that and so a couple of them are the same um, as from her first palette but um, this is the eye look that I actually came up with. It's kind of like a, you know, summer, spring, even though spring just like left like a month ago. And that now it's officially summer. And I wasn't really sure exactly what look I was going to go for. But since I also use um, my Too Faced eye, Eyeshadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eye Primer. And I was watching a video, you know, about this um, eyeshadow palette and that. And I was like, I noticed that with some of the shimmer and some of the, you know, matte um, eyeshadows, you have to like, you know, kind of like build it up and everything. And um, the, uh, the shimmer, the shimmer eyeshadows were um, very hard to uh, transfer from a brush to the eyelid. So I did the same thing when I watched the video of this other uh, lady's video that she just used her finger to apply the shimmer eyeshadow. And it comes out like, you know, like really, really pretty. And I also used the... Um, uh, what color did I use? I used the pink one here. And then I was like, well, it's not too bright enough. So I went with the, um, the pink uh, highlighter. Just to apply it right on top. And also, like, apply the white um, highlighter, like, in between the corners. I didn't really feel like putting on foundation today because later I'll be just taking this off and yeah so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the tutorial on how I created this eye look and that and I'm gonna try my best to go in very detail on how I did it and that you'll see a different tip that I also did in this video sometimes you can use tape or you can just use your eyeshadow brush or whatever a certain brush and just line it up with from your eyebrow to your nose that way you can get like a very nice crease um cut in a way instead of just applying tape in a case if you can't find it or whatever but yeah let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and then i'll show you um the swatches Hey everybody, okay, so I'm back and um, I just applied my eye primer on my Too Faced and Shower Shirts and I'm just setting it with the e.l.f. Uh, primer and setting powder. I'm going to use that first eyeshadow that I just showed y'all and I'm putting this up on my crease and the upper crease. It's a little bit light, so I had to keep on building it up. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going with that second color that I just showed y'all. And this one was very, very pigmented, as you can tell. As so I'm applying it in the inner, uh, outer corner of my crease. And that. And I'll be blending it afterwards. I'm taking my blending brush and just blending those two together. Taking that dark, kind of like a brown shade on my outer crease. And you can tell I'm actually using a kind of like a lip liner brush to help guide me um, to make a really sharp edge. Now I'm blending those colors together so there ain't no harsh lines and it kind of looks natural and not. Okay, so I went back over that color just to bring the color back to life and not. So just blending that back and forth like windshield wiper. And this hair keeps on getting in my face. I went with that pink shimmer shade that has like a little bit of gold reflected to it. And then I try to add that all over the lid. And I was like, okay, this brush is not really picking up anything. So what I did was, I'm trying to add more. Not use it, sometimes it's the brush, you know. So I went with another brush, my Elf eyeshadow brush. Or no, I used my finger and I apply it on. Like just I seen in the video that I just watched. Yeah, it's showing up pretty nicely, ain't it? Not too shabby. Get all on there. <laughs> Invincible. Still applying more. Wait, is it showing up? Hell no. Okay, so I try to add that natural highlight in the center. I mean, you can see it just a little bit. Very, very little. It's like, okay, let me try to build up some more. Mm -hmm. Then I use a very light shade for my brow bone. Okay, now I'm with that white shade just to brighten up the inner corners. Watch my face expression. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, am I actually seeing this or. So now I use my ring finger and just apply that pink shade. Highlight on the center of my eye. Look at that. Just brought everything to life. Yes.
Okay, another thing I want to mention, since I actually love this palette, and I would definitely try to do like a different look, um, creating this palette, either a smoky um, eye look or a very, not really dramatic, but more like summer-ish, where like if it's more likely if you're mostly like daytime, you know, wear and, um, uh, I was just thinking this earlier, and uh, even though I just used the Too Faced eyeshadow anti-crease eyeshadow insurance eye primer, I was thinking, well, you could also use NYX Jumbo um, pencil and milk and just apply that, you know, after you just put on your eyeshadow primer. Or you can just use that first, whichever your preference is. And that way you can actually make the colors um, pop more and, that, and probably also blend more as well. So maybe next time um, I do another tutorial using this palette because I also have, you know, this um, eyeshadow palette which I started using it first. I mentioned it in my current favorites and because I got it like a couple months ago and now I just like I had to get my hands on this palette so um but my final thoughts are on this it's very blendable but you can always try to find um it's kind of like a trial and error basically when you're trying to use uh you know different like eye primers see which eye primer works best with this, you know, eyeshadow palette or any kind of eyeshadow palette and that because if it's not your eyeshadow, then it's probably the eyeshadow primer and that. Just to make a tip of that, you know, to be aware, you know, when you put on eyeshadow and if it doesn't blend very well, it's probably your eyeshadow primer and that. So, um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this video and if you did, uh, please don't forget to subscribe um, and also click the notification bell button so you won't miss out on any new videos. Um, if I don't tend to upload any videos because I certain days I well every day is different. I don't get enough sleep so if I don't get enough sleep I don't get to make a video and I don't get to upload it so. Um, also I do vlogs on my vlog channel. Uh, I try to do those daily and that. If I don't, it'll probably be up like whenever I post it up and that. So, um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And if it was very, uh, informative and helpful for you. And it also if you find this, um, video useful as well, you can share it with somebody, share it with your friends, um, or your family member that may be struggling how to do a really nice, you know, crease like this and that. And, and yeah, so I hope this was, um, interesting for y'all. I know it's been a while since I actually did a review and tutorial and swatch all in one. So, alright, I'm going to go ahead and go. I gotta run to the store and I gotta cook dinner. So, ah, hope I get some better sleep tonight. <laughs> Alright, see y'all in my next video. Bye!